Hello, glorious, super muddy spilling way out in the middle of nowhere. How the hell are you today? It is me, I am back. It has been a good long while since I have seen you. Boo and I came here at the beginning of the year and caught some pretty big channel kitties. So I brought some bluegills, some night crawlers, and actually I have some corn. And we're gonna see if we can catch some big old kitties. And also, this might be the day that I finally do a bullhead catch and cook. It's been a long time coming. It might happen today. That might be gone, who knows. Let's see, bye bye. What is going on, you dirty old stash stains? It is me, and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. There is a road up there, but that's about it. And then a couple of fields and a, actually a fairly deep uh, muddy puddle. Last time we were here, we said we'd come back and try to do a bullhead catch and cook. And we actually did come back and we didn't catch anything. So yeah, once again, no guarantee, but we're starting off the video saying potentially maybe bullhead catch and cook. So uh, yeah, we also got the automatic hook setter. We're gonna be giving that a whirl. Last time I did that, we uh, caught the shit out of some carp on it, but this time using cut bait per your guys' request. So come along with me and see if we can catch something big on the automatic hook setter, catch yourselves some greasy old bullhead dinner. Stuff and things, pa, pow. I seriously tried super duper hard to do a bullhead catch and cook after the two times that I promised it. Camera, don't mess up. Did it work? Did it work? It worked. All right. Um, yeah, we tried really hard to do a bullhead catch and cook. I said if we got this many likes, blah, 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 we'd make it happen, and we seriously tried to make it happen. Once again, who knows? They might be uh, non-existent today, but you guys keep saying how good they are. Blah, 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 bullheads are delicious. I can't even remotely see how they'd be delicious, but I suppose they look kind of like flatheads, and flatheads are delicious, so yeah, maybe. All right, cut bait on the bottom. It's seriously like probably 10 to 12 foot out there. We're gonna tighten it up and then put it on our automatic hook setter, bud. Kind of pointing a little low at the water, but oh well. Should get the job done, but if you didn't see the last video, trigger right there, pull your line on it, strap your rod in. Fish pulls hard enough for that trigger to go off and this sketchy ass thing sets the hook hard. I was actually kind of impressed with it. All right, trap is set after some adjusting. Might double up on uh, cut bait here in a little bit, but for now we just, just want to get a bite, you know? So we're gonna throw out a crawler on the bottom, see where that gets us. So deep, finally hit bottom. All right, traps are set. Cut bait, crawler. See what uh, lives here now, about six months later, and stuff. Crawler's getting poked at. Didn't take long. Oh, is that it, boys and girls? I think that might be it. Not a channel like we want, but it is a pretty big bullhead. We're supposed to eat a little bit bigger than that. Or is that like good sized? I mean, he looks edible, huh? Edible, bud? We'll let the first one go, even though I might regret it. But that didn't take long at all. I just don't have a bucket or anywhere to put him, put him in down here quite yet. Well, there's bullheads in here. I'm gonna wait to throw out the night crawler for a second again. See if we can get a channel kitty on the auto and then I'm gonna go get a bucket. And we're gonna eat some nasty boy bullheads. Not necessarily looking forward to it, but it's a promise from long ago that I promised. All right, I'm running for it. Let's get a bucket quick. Hopefully our rod doesn't get ripped in and eat some bullheads, I guess. I guess. All right, we got a bucket. We're in business for a bullhead catch and cook. Now we just need to catch the bullheads so we can cut them. Get the crawler back out and get to harvesting. Comment down below, who here has ate a bullhead before? Anybody? Are they good? Any tips? How to clean them and blah, blah, blah? Not like I'm gonna be able to see it by the time you're commenting, but I'm just kind of curious for next time, I guess, but. As of right now, we don't have any bullheads in our bucket, so I'm gonna shut up, throw my crawler out, cut baits out. See if we can't catch something big and then in the meantime, catch some bullheads for dinner. Doesn't sound like a bad way to spend an afternoon to me. I could think of better, but doesn't sound bad, so let's do it. Plus stuff. Crawlers are getting hit. Not a bad fish. There it is. Keep swallowing it too. But he's a kind of clean looking meaty bullhead bud. He's kind of got some weird little spots going on, but 
God, they just keep swallowing it. That's dinner, I spec, boys and girls. I'm gonna unhook them, because we're keeping them anyway. And, um, yeah, get some water in the bucket for this meaty boy. Are you good, Mr. Bullhead? I guess if you probably never tried yourself, but maybe you're one of those weird cannibal fish that eat their young. I think I'm gonna try to let these boys swim around in some tap water at some point to uh, clean them out a notch, but for now he's just going in there. And my stupid Frable aerator quit working, so we don't even have one of those. We'll just have to keep cycling out the water and then get them home and let them flush themselves out. All right, we got a bullhead. We are doing a bullhead catch and cook. About time. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We're going to shoot for four or so. Why not take that long at this rate? Then get him home, see if we can get Boo to try him with us. I mean, that seems like a good eater size. He's kind of small, but bullheads get a lot smaller, so it could be a lot worse. Bullhead numero dos. Water's dirty and kind of smelly. So is he, but I mean, as far as bullheads go, he's pretty clean looking. Yeah, I hit that tree. Should have tried a little harder to get it out, but oh well. All right, I'm re-rigging the cut bait pole. Let's we'll see if we can get some on the auto. That's the main goal now. Actually, you know what? Let's put the night crawler on the auto. See what happens. I'd imagine it's gonna get eight by a bullhead at this rate. But hopefully we can catch something else in the mix. Not really looking like it, but I don't know, maybe. Maybe. All right. Cut bait pulls rigged back up. I think I'm just gonna hold it. Crawler is getting hit. Throw it out a little farther away from that tree and see if we can't get a channel. Pull it harder. Pull it harder. <laughs> He's almost got the trigger. That bullhead has to have it about swallowed by now. All right, Otto, you tried. Oh, that's a big one. Now that's a meaty boy. And I was right, he did completely swallow it. The auto did not do its job there. But that doesn't mean it won't do its job eventually. It just hasn't done its job yet. Do your job, auto. That's a big old meaty one. Ow. I'm supposed to eat you, you're not supposed to eat me. I mean, I'm not a bullhead eating expert, but that sure looks like an eater. Biggest one yet. Kind of got some spots under his skin though. He's actually looking kind of gross. Yeah, we'll try him. <clears throat> we, we'll try him. All right, one more bullhead and then we need to focus on catching something big. Main goal is to catch something big. Catching bullhead to eat him was just a random idea I had on the way walking down here. And I'm glad I did because there's bullheads here and like I've said a couple times, I've been promising it. So get one more bullhead and then maybe try some corn or double cut bait or something like that. Got to be a channel kitty in here. There was a ton of them last time. Like I think we caught six or seven or so. So let's see if we can get one of them or a kerp, one more bullhead, head home, eat them, show you the new kitchen and stuff. But poopy puddle bullhead dinner. Can't wait. Crawler is getting hit. You gonna do it? You gonna do it, little buddy? There we go. There we go, Otto. You did it. I just don't think the bullheads are... Well, they're definitely not as strong as carp. So they're having a harder time setting off the auto. And that is our fourth... Uh, Fourth big fat meaty bullhead. I mean, that's about as good as a bullhead's gonna look. The place it could come out of could look a little better, but as far as edible bullheads go, I mean, that's it. 
I'm not leaving though. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stop fishing with crawlers because they keep swallowing it every time, and I only want to keep four. But we're gonna try a couple other things, see if we can catch something big. If not, ow, ow. If not, then I guess we'll go home and maybe put them on an aerator for a while and let them kind of clean themselves out. I mean, that's a pretty damn big bullhead, though. I mean, as far as bullheads go, that's a that's a certified stud. Bag them and tag them. All right, new kitchen. All right, you'll probably see more of it by the end of this video, but new kitchen, living room, new house, stuff, house tour. I'm not gonna do a house tour. I don't know, I'm really proud of our house. And I thank you guys a lot for getting me to where I could purchase this house because it's really all thanks to you guys and obviously my hard work on making videos over and over again. But yeah, I don't know. Just don't wanna make a braggy video about a house. I'd rather just make a fishing video and end up making a catch and cook in the house. Makes more sense to me. But anyway, we were finally doing the bullhead catch and cook. Wasn't the greatest as far as big fish goes. I'll probably say it again at the end of this video. I've probably already said it, but that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. But to be honest with you, these bullheads are actually pretty massive. I don't know how big the bottom of a bucket is, but there's a couple of them in there that are, that are definitely longer than the bottom of the bucket. Two of them died on the way home, and the other two got bled out like 15 minutes ago, but bullheads are tough SOBs, man. I'll tell you what, they're still kicking in there. And also, this little thing, shout out to subscriber Kevin from the UK. He sent me a knife sharpener. I don't really know how to do this. It says, draw a knife this way. Is draw a knife a UK thing or do Americans say that too? Any hoodles. Suctions to the counter, pretty cool. Let's test her out. Yeah, cuts cardboard. Should be able to cut a bullhead. Um, let's bring you guys in a little bit, I suppose. Eh, good enough. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of like cleaning a catfish because they are catfish, so. I am just gonna go down the side. Yes, the knife is in fact sharper. I'm gonna cut down the back. God, these things are slippery. All right, that'll work. And we'll go down to the butthole. It's pretty gruesome. It also kind of smells like I punctured his intestines. Okay, not the best job ever, but you guys don't come here to learn how to clean fish, that's for sure. Cut around the rib cage. Seems kind of just like cleaning a catfish or a walleye or a crappie, to be honest with you. Except way slimier. I also can't believe I thought this uh, box would actually protect the counters, but we will make it work. Um, yeah, the cardboard did nothing. All right, bullhead filet numero uno. I've seen better, I've seen worse. Definitely has some red meat and definitely has some blood on it, but it's actually a lot cleaner looking than I would expect a bullhead out of a nasty puddle to be. I'm actually kind of excited for this. Alrighty, well, it is lunchtime. Camera's not really picking that up, but 4.06. A little bit of a late lunch, had to edit. Now it's time to cook. Gourmet bullhead sandwiches. We got some lettuce, green onions, got a lemon, and we got some Holland Gouda cheese or something. Best cheese ever. Sesame seed buns, Chick-fil-A sauce. We are going to uh, toast our bun like a grilled cheese with some uh, whiskey, black pepper, butter. And uh, here's our bowl head. Some fillets turned out better than others. Soaked them in Franks for a little bit and then um, put them directly in flour. It's a recipe I always use and uh, wanted to use the same recipe for the bowl head. So peanut oil in there. If it ain't peanut oil, it ain't matter. Cast iron skillet. And um, yeah, let's fry these puppies up and make one of the best bowl head sandwiches ever made, if not the best and stuff. I'm excited. I'm starving. Let's do it. Pa pow. Alrighty. Welcome. Welcome to the, to the, to the kitchen table. We don't really actually know. This is dining room table. We don't really have a dining room or dining rooms in the living room, dining room table, whatever. But here we go. Lighting isn't the greatest. Hold on. Got to figure out all the damn lights in this house. There's too many switches. Ta-da. I don't know if it's better, but it's on. All right. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. About time we try some bullheads. We'll start with this piece and uh, see how it goes. Should have probably got it a little crunchier, but I'm hungry. Hmm. The red meat turned kind of black, which looks kind of weird, but. It doesn't taste fishy. Any hoodles. Let's scarf this sandwich down for old time's sake. I haven't done this for a while. Um, if you're new here, I don't uh, have the best manners. 
eating sandwiches on videos, but uh, yeah, look at that. Looks delicious. Not sure if my camera's focusing and I don't care, so let's dive in. Mm. I'm calling my dad and I'm seeing if he wants one. Oh, she is so good. Butter bun. Chick fil A sauce. The cheese. The bullhead. Mm. And the lettuce just brings it all together. Mmm, that's good. All right, like I said, I need to call my dad and make him a sandwich, but if you've never had bullhead, I recommend trying it. I think it's better than Channel Cats. I haven't ate flatheads enough to compare it, but I'd imagine it's kind of... Is that my truck? No, it's just a stupid internet guy. Um, damn it, Aloe. You got fast internet, but you screwed up my train of thought. Um, but yeah, if you haven't tried bullhead, give it a whirl. I think it sh should probably be comparable to flathead. I've only had it the once with Spencer and had a bunch of sand on it, so it wasn't very good. Sorry, Spencer. Um, but yeah, first catch and cook in the new house. Still not gonna do a full tour, but you gotta see something, so that's something for the people who want it. And uh, yeah, bullhead catch and cook finally happened. Never give up. I'm gonna pound this sandwich. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully we catch big fish soon. We didn't really catch them in this video, but we did catch a uh, bullhead po' boy. Stuff and things, bye.